What's that coming over the hill? Is it a patsta? Is it a patsta? What's that coming over the hill? It's a trust bridge. Oh, it's a body bridge. Yep, just a short and sweet one today. Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 2. Uh, we are continuing our journey in the secret levels. Uh, and last time, we got all the way to the very last level of the ancient ruins. So this is 415 ups and downs. We've got 50 grand and we've got a load of hydraulic phases. Oh, I'm not in the mood for this. So basically, each of these vehicles down here, we've got a car, another car, and then two taxis. Uh, they each go and there's a hydraulic phase between all of them. And then in the middle, we've got three spans. We've got stars that we need to collect with each one. So car A has to end up at A.1 and then A.2. Yeah, then everything has to end up down here. I think this shouldn't be too bad. I think this shouldn't be too bad. So that car goes to there and then stop. Okay, it doesn't stop. Before the other one goes. Okay, so it just goes to the end. Hits the last flag. Wait, vehicle reach checkpoint without... Oh, poo. And then hopefully it drives up. Oh, without braking, I was about to say. But as this guy comes... Oh, he still breaks it. All right, and this is the important bit. <laughs> Right, so yes, this middle bridge is out the way now. Although, unfortunately, the first bridge died. Although, oh, poo, he's high up. I forgot he's... Oh, he's high up. I haven't changed anything to this last bridge. So this would be absolutely fire. Oh, and then that car goes. It goes up there, down, back up. Oh, you absolute knob. Are they stronger? Yes. Yeah. Oh, right. So that's fully locked in now. So if we just fast forward. What the... Fr what the hell? You're meant to be stronger. What just happened? The blue car went straight through it. So now taxi, please go up. Oh, <laughs> Right, so after a lot of steel reinforcement and most of my budget, I think we're actually sort of there, maybe. Uh, let's slow it down for this taxi. So it took a lot of strength to get the taxi up there and back down just because the impact, like the kadonk. Uh, but then it's fine. If it gets over that last bridge, we're good. Okay, so now they should re raise out the way, which means it's just a straight through for the last taxi, which I think means it should definitely make it, right? Please. Oh, man, the stress went up to like 90%. <laughs> oh, we have done it though. Under budget, no breaking. Oh, let's never do that again. That was absolutely horrible. So just shy of 45 grand, 600 quid. Let's see where we placed in the gallery. So we're not on the first page. Shock. We're not on the second page. We're not on the third page page. We're on the fourth page. We're in, we're in the bottom half. Anyway, the cheapest solution by certified happy. I would be happy if I could do this cheap. Oh, did they actually... Did they only use one hydraulic? They just used one hydraulic. Well, there's like a vertical lift. Oh, they actually drop off parts of the bridge as well. Bloomin' hell. 22 grand. Less than half the price of mine. <laughs> oh, fair play. So yeah, as we can see in most of these, the aim was to reduce the number of hydraulics. And to be fair, this guy... Wow, this one... This guy moved a lot of bridge for his hydraulics. So made really made the most out of them. And we got some crazy tension bridge stuff going on. Oh, so I think I did it wrong. I wasn't meant to do like draw bridges. Looks like it was all about moving like the, the entire bridge. Yeah, but let's go to my last page. Let's see if I've infected. Ah, oh, yes, I see some infection here. Some strongest efficient bridge building. It is happening. Yeah, so this... <laughs> <laughs> How could someone do that? Like, it's just strong, efficient bridge building. Oh, my goodness. I swear I've seen, like, an internet video that's similar to this. Uh, moving on. We've got this on RCE. Oh, nice. That was awesome. Thank you, Milo Green. By the way, if you're watching this and you want your replays to appear, make sure... Oh, my goodness. It's getting bigger and bigger. Make sure you're a good, like... I'd probably say go eight levels ahead of where I am because I generally record, like, an episode or two in advance. Uh, so all these people, they posted, like, on the 8th of January. It's actually the 26th today. The double dong. The two dong solution. But yeah, so just make sure if you wanna if you wanna be involved. Oh my goodness, look at that one on the left. Oh please don't. Please oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, please make sure we're like, we're a good few levels ahead. Oh, that looks efficient. Uh, if you want your efficient designs to be <laughs> I'm so sorry, developers. This is like all the gallery is now. Yeah, it is beautiful, though. It's 
very, very... How could someone build that and, like, easily do the level? And there's me, like, struggling. Oh, look at the RCE bridge. That is a special bridge. I'll say that right now. But yeah, let's go back because we're now on to World 5 80s Funland. And as it's 80s, perhaps it means there'll be a bridge review. Probably not. Anyway, let's do the double-double. So this was level 5-1 from Poly Bridge 1. Oh, no, we got more hydraulics. We got more hydraulics. So it looks like the lorry and the car go at the same time. And then there's hydraulics. Then a boat comes. Hydraulics again. So yeah, I think we need to do a drawbridge here, ideally. No, I was going to say, unless there's a way to get... No, I was going to say, unless there's a way to, like, get up and over with these with these vehicles. I don't think so, though. Um, right. So what I reckon... I, to be honest, I feel like I could probably do what I did just say, but with just the top bridge only. So if I go down to, like, there... Oh, we've only got 13 bits of road. Oh, I didn't see that. We've only got 13 bits of road. So if we fill that in, how many pieces... We've got six pieces left. Okay, will six pieces get us across? Oh, it does! It actually does. Look how perfect that is. Okay, so grid off. I think what I want to do, I want to build just like an arch. A truss arch up there. I'll then copy a mirror to the other side so it's symmetrical. So let's just see, does the top bridge hold that? Yeah, it holds the car easy. 75% stress. And that weighs three and a half polygrams. What does that car weigh? Four and a half. So I reckon we got breathing room. I reckon that'll be fine. So next up, we just need, we just need like a drawbridge down the bottom. So join it in the middle. And then I'm really trying to think simple with this. How much do these weigh? 6.5. Oh man, 6.5 is quite a lot. That's what she said. <laughs> so we might want to trust this fairly like big style like that. Proper big boy trusses. And then I'm sort of thinking, do I go do I go down with rope and then push this up? I might try that. Because the thing is, I don't really, I don't really want to connect that with a bar. So I do need some extra strength for this bridge. I'm hoping the hydraulics will sort of hold it up. Looking good. But as that gets to the middle, ooh, only 70, 80% stress. Okay, so let's see. Will it raise high enough? Oh, I forgot to put a joint in. I was like, why did that just smash up? Um, well, I did put the joint in. I forgot to, like, make those twos. So that means they disconnect from each other. So you'll see now they disconnect. That goes straight up. And then the boat comes through. Will the chimney touch the bridge? Oh, we're good. It must have lost some paint on there. But then that comes back down, locks together. And then these two vehicles weigh more than the first ones. So will that be fine? Oh, we've done it. We've done it first time in your face, game. Although looking at the budget, we actually use quite a lot of it. We've only got two grand spare. So about 10% under budget. I guess we'll take that. So in the gallery, 19 grand. We're not on the first page. Oh, we're not even on the second page. We're not even on the third. But what the? We're on the fourth Pete, right, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. Let me just see if I... Because these hydraulics, they're like 2,200 each. Can I go to like there and contract? Because look, we're on 16 grand now. I'm going to assume we won't actually have the strength. Although actually, looking all right. Will it go high enough? That is the other question. Oh, that's looking like a no. That's definitely a no. Yeah, but what we could potentially do, lower those a little bit. Especially if we turn the grid off, we can go way down. Yeah, it's just a matter of, because I've made this triangle so smaller. This will be weaker. The forces will be spread around not as equally. If we look on the stress, you can see that end piece. Oh, they go very red. Um, but the extra hydraulic length means that goes a lot higher. So we are out the way, although it did just disintegrate. We just nudge it over that way. So yeah, that's pretty good. I've just lowered it slightly. So we're still out the way. So as this comes back down and locks together, are these end pieces going to burst when this comes over? Because you are heavy. Oh yeah, it broke it. Oh, that was so close. So 16 grand. I've got two options. I could reinforce the road. That's cost me 400 quid. 17,500. It might be worth it, to be honest. Alternatively, I could try and tweak the, the truss just to make it a bit stronger. All right, so that worked fine. I'm not, I'm not done, though. I'm not done in the slightest. I want to lower that truss as well, just to try and save some more cash. So that saved me 200. Is it still strong enough to support this guy? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I can go down way further. Okay. So the lower we go down, the more money we are saving. I may have taken this a bit too far. I've probably just crushed that truss. Oh, that was actually really close. I wonder, can I do like a bit of that maybe? All right. So a slightly tweaked layout down there. I'm going to slightly reduce these. I'd love to be under 16 thousand. So if I do that and then just mirror that to the other side. 15,935. We know the first vehicles make it. It's these, these two ones. Two beefcakes over here. 
there. Will they actually get over? There's a lot of passengers on board. Oh, it's stressful. It's stressful. That's good. I could actually make it smaller. I could save more money, but I'm happy just under 16 grand. So back to the gallery. Where are we now? Oh, no, look. I'm nearly on the first page. All right, come on. Come on, top car. Come on, Arch. Yes, we did it. 15,764. So we are 13th in the world at this level and it's a hydraulic level i'm so proud of myself anyway let's have a look at the cheapest one how did they do oh my i was actually thinking of that building a single bridge and then trying to get the cars above <laughs> to sit on top i just thought it wouldn't be possible uh fair play that is absolutely awesome uh this one looks kind of interesting there's a huge gap in the middle oh they've just done a single arm drawbridge Ooh, because then you only need one hydraulic that's a lot cheaper. Uh, what is going on with this one? How does that work? How does that... Oh, they pulled the whole thing out of the way. No way. They made a single drawbridge that much cheaper. Fair play. And then what's going on with this one? I can see there's a hydraulic there. What is that going to do exactly? Oh, it lifts. Okay. Oh, look. And it, does that lock in? It locks in as well. <laughs> oh, it's so clever. I'm so dumb. Anyway, on to the last page. Uh, yep. To... <laughs> to be expected oh quite intrigued oh okay yeah oh no that one's too far all right what is that oh rce this person has gone to town on their trusses oh look and it's gonna fit the boat perfectly um rce and a and a knob oh lots of no okay lots and lots of knobs thank you for that uh, this one have we got a legit expensive one that doesn't feature the strongest shape yes we do is it gonna fit Perf oh, I was going to say perfectly around the boat. No, it gives it a very wide berth. But uh, safety first. Oh, man. I'm just looking at this page. Look at all the RCEs. I love it. All right. So we got RCE on that one. How does that one actually move out the way? Oh, look at that. It's like scissors. Sweet. We've got one of those. We've got my name dangling. Oh, it's like a necklace. Maybe I should get one of them. And, oh, look at the bridge above. What happened to the bridge? Where's it gone? <laughs> oh, that's not right. You shouldn't be that talented at this game. <laughs> um... I don't see anything. Ooh, okay. Yep. No problem. No problem. Uh, we've got the the, <laughs> the quad knob solution. We've got, oh, that's, no, nah, that one's, no, no. Oh, it's like, it's got a piercing at the end. We've got, what is that? Oh, it's R, C, E. <laughs> He's got a C on top of his bridge. It doesn't even matter. Whoa, did you see? What the frig? Where'd the middle part of the bridge go? Whoa, that's like stealth bridge. Tell you what, we've even infected page six as well. Blooming out. We've got a bridge review. <laughs> maybe, Joseph. Maybe. Oh, ooh, cheeky stealth knob there as well. I feel like the bridge review is like sacred in these parts. Do I do it on an actual bridge building game? What did that say? Matt, these are not bulls. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't even know what they... What is that? I know they're not bulls, but what are they? Right, well, anyway, we had a bit too much fun in there. Let's get on to the next level. Oh, it's more hydraulics. Come on, Polly Bridge. All right, this is called Edge Hugger. So taxi goes, then hydraulics, then two boats go at once, then hydraulics and that. Okay, so we've just got to do like a vertical drawbridge from the looks of this, I think. All right, so grid on. We've only got six bits of road as well. So six gets us all the way across. Now I notice we've got an extra anchor there. I want, can I just like, I couldn't do something like that simple, could I? And just like move all these back one. Like I can't just do that, can I? Hey, game, if you wanna, if you wanna let me get away with this, I'm completely okay with that. All right, so taxi got across. That goes up. Oh, I've actually done it. Have I done it? Are we gonna touch? Oh, we might touch, we might touch. No, I think we're good. We are good. We're actually good. Okay. So as long as this comes back down and then the car can get across, we've done it. That was like a five second level. I'm speed running Polly Bridge now. Come on, car. Faster. We got a speed run. Yes, we've done it. Now, what I'm looking at, max stress, 59%. That's the factor of safety on this bridge is way too high for me. So I am, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try and bring the cost down as before by making these trusses smaller. Uh, just not too small. Otherwise that happens. All right, so here we go. We're up to 98% stress there. We're on 12,667. Look how high our bridge goes. <laughs> Beyond vertical, we are not clashing with that. And then once the ships have passed, that comes back down down or speed up because the blue car should easily make it wait what the f why all right so that time it did make it i just very slightly tweaked the middle but yeah 96.7 percent stress that means we're using a lot more of the material there therefore we save a lot of money we're, we did that for 12,639 quid which puts us yes on the first page in your face game now the question is what the hell is going on with this one so that's the cheapest level why is that 
what was... What? I'm sorry, but what's that dangling bit doing? What? Yeah, let's have a look at the next one. So that one doesn't do... Yeah, pretty much does the same thing. So it's basically... It's, it's just a proper rickety bridge. But somehow it works. There's like a gap in the middle as well. I don't understand why there's an extra bar on that one. And, but yeah, essentially it's sort of what I did. You're just trying to get the most out of your money. Uh, let's go to the last page. <laughs> oh, intrigued by this. So we've got like a huge steel arch. It's sort of like a spider arch. Oh, and it makes a happy face. Oh, or it makes a thumb. Does that look like a, like a thumbnail or something? Uh, not a YouTube thumbnail, a literal thumbnail. Anyway, nice to see not everything is phallic in this game. Uh, unlike this one, I guess. I mean, I'm sure there's an engineering purpose to this. It's, it's trying to bend over that way to get the counterweight over the right point. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Anyway, this one. Oh, it's a crane. Oh, look at this. So it lifts. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love a crane. Poly crane would be an amazing sequel to this game. Just saying, devs. Now we've got RCE. We got some efficient engineering going on on that one. I'm not even going to play that one because I can see there's a lot going on. Back. Quick, close it. Wow. That was close. Now that one, we got a counterweight in the water. Oh, I don't. Okay, you pulled the counterweight out. I'm not really sure why that was in there. I guess you can call out the tip. Getting the tip wet. Could that be a saying for that bridge? Potentially. This one. <laughs> Uh, very low counterweight. That's to help the stability of the of the drawbridge there as it moves. Oh, is that peace? I feel like that replay started too late. Was it peace, love, and bridges? Anyway, what is going on there? That looks a right mess. But oh my goodness, that's insane. How do people do that? It's not fair. I can barely hydraulic anything. Uh, what's going on with this one? So this is by Puffax. It's sort of a normal bridge. It's gone underwater. How did he get so much movement? I'm not seeing enough movement. That drops so low and it goes under the boats and then raises back up. Okay, that's really cool. Fair play. Right, well, now I'm motivated to smash this next level. Jump, jump again. So no hydraulics this time, but it is a tweaking one, it seems. So we've only got eight pieces of road. Uh, so let's see how fast is this car. It gets to about there. Okay, so we can add, let's add a jump with a very small truss at the start. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna spring this. So if I add bit of compression that should sort of oh that's a bit too high <laughs> that should point up a bit which means we land over by those rocks which is very convenient because there's some anchor points on there so again if we trust like over to that i've got a spring there as well which should just help us sort of absorb some of the impact so ready oh it was a bit, a bit too short but if we just curve this ramp up a bit i'm hoping as he jumps up we get a bit more air yeah not enough not enough i think we're gonna have to move this slightly. All right, what if I get rid of the spring, actually? I feel like that's sort of, that's messing us up a bit. If we just make that rigid. Oh, we jump way further. So much further. All right, so I've got that. I've also got that. Let's see how this works. So we jump onto there, land on there, bling up. Oh, no, we hit the bloom basket. Okay, so with a little tweak, we're a bit lower. Uh, what I want to try and do now is if we, we dangle underneath a bit of road, I want to try and trapeze this. I've seen other designs trapeze successfully. I wonder if I can do it. All right, so I've got it to a point where we're dangling by a spring. And look at this. Oh! <laughs> Okay, we're close. We're close. I just need to do a little bit more tweaking. Now I'm using some dynamics and hydrodynamics and thermodynamics, all sorts of dynamic equations here uh, to try and get the air resistance right, the pressure on the spring. Oh, we're getting closer. There's definitely mathematics going on. Uh, those engineers watching, they should be able to tell the equations that I'm using. Uh, but to the untrained eye, it probably looks like I'm just tweaking this, like trial and error till it works. No, 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 my friend. No, this is engineering. Uh, if only you could see inside my brain like now, it looks like the, it looks like the matrix. Anyway, right, how's this looking? Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, so close. So close. All right, definitely haven't spent hours tweaking this. But uh, we're getting close. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes. In your face. 8,644. Where does that? Oh, second page. Second page after all that. Anyway, did anyone else do a trapeze? Let's see the cheapest solution. Certified happy. Oh, it's literally my design, but cheaper. Fair enough. Yeah, so all of these are going to be pretty similar. Let's just get to the last page. That's all we care about now. More RCE propaganda. Now, what is the? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. They're like giraffes or like dinosaurs. Yeah, that's like a dinosaur swimming in the water there. Definitely what it is. You got RCE. Whoa. This one we got. Yep. Okay. One of them. This one we got. Oh, goodness. That was a spring cannon and a different kind of cannon. Yeah. <laughs> 
What is that C? Uh, the most expensive non RCE-ified version is this one. Look, they've got a like a muscle pin there holding that first bridge in place. They're like, they're like I'm not building a jump. I'm making a bridge. Good on you, Bobby. Good on you. Anyway, the next level is called Drop Bridge, uh, but we're going to leave it there for today. So hope you guys enjoyed Polyception. Remember, jump like five or six levels ahead if you want to appear in the next video. Uh, but for now, I'll say peace, love, and bridges that are yet to be built. Bye, guys!